Hey there, I hope you've been well. I took a break recently to reflect and regroup because we all need time to reflect and grow as individuals when we're dating. And during my period of reflection, I couldn't help but think about a conversation I had with one of my students. She shared some of the interesting experiences she had with dates who had distinctive habits and interests. Now the dating world is full of excitement, anticipation, and occasional surprises. It's also a great period of anxiety, self-doubt, and confusion. These surprises are what I call beige flags. Beige flags are those quirky habits that may leave you stunned or confused, but they're not necessarily deal breakers. In fact, it's often a time to get curious and exploratory. Let's take a deeper dive into two of the eight types of daters and their peculiar habits and see which ones you've come across. And let's explore how you can approach them with an open mind, curiosity, and a sense of playfulness. There's the obsessive texter. We've all encountered that date who seems glued to their phone, constantly texting and sending emojis. While it can be frustrating when you're trying to connect with someone face to face, understand that everyone has their own communication style. Some have a need for constant contact while others experience FOMO. Instead of feeling ignored or pushed aside, speak up about your desires and preferences. Your ability to openly communicate your feelings and desires will set you up for success regardless of what happens with your date. Express your preference for Mr. Right to be Mr. Right now by being more present and focused during your time together. Establish a healthy balance where both of you can engage fully in the present moment. If putting away the phone and being present and attentive during your time together is impossible for your date, it might be time to move on. Then there's the serial planner. Some people have a natural talent for planning every minute detail of a date. From the itinerary to the backup plan, everything is meticulously orchestrated. While this level of organization can be impressive, it may also leave you feeling a bit stifled, controlled, and lacking spontaneity. If you find yourself with a serial planner, let them know that while you appreciate their efforts, you also value a more relaxed and laid back approach to dating. Allowing room for unforced and unexpected moments to occur naturally can lead to a deeper connection and real growth. By taking turns planning the date and balancing structure with spontaneity, the two of you can create more memorable and enjoyable experiences together. If you're not getting the results that you want from dating, if you're having trouble finding men that you're interested in, and if you want a proven roadmap that will help you create a happy and loving relationship, I invite you to join me in the Art of Dating Academy. During our eight weeks together, you'll learn how to attract connect, date with amazing men, and create the relationship that you deserve. Now stay tuned for part two of daters and their beige flags, because you get to decide if any of these type of daters are men that you could go out with or are men that are just totally not your type. See you in part two.